chart to keep I have and they ain't keeping them. Let me ask y'all, what charge y'all keeping? What have God said to y'all by his Bible that y'all keeping? So many people tell me they love God and they got God and it's the most racist day it is today. Because People won't say, I don't go to their church, or I can't go to their church. They're like it's two or three different gods. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go nowhere that ain't going to preach to me what's in the Bible. <laughs> A familiar passage. John... 316. A familiar pastor. And, and you know, Ella Simmer picked that song about I love Jesus. And I told him, well, let's go on with it. He didn't know what I was preaching. Because a lot of y'all say y'all love Jesus. But y'all ain't keeping his commandments. And you know the song said, I love him more than anything. Now y'all know y'all don't love more y'all man. Or your husband, or your wife, or your children, because if you did, you'll put them in their place. I see already. When I came to church, I'm going to talk about me because y'all don't like talking about y'all. These vessels have become great to me because that's how I clean my little ass and self up. I came to the church dirty and sin, a hole above all holes. I know Paul was something else. He was the sinner above all sinners. I was the hole above all holes. I came in there like that. Some of y'all still like that. Come on, let's let, let go. Let me go and read this scripture. It said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believe on him is not condemned, but he that believe that he that believe not is condemned already. You ain't gotta wait. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. Don't nobody want to talk about that no more. That light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light. Ain't that something? Yeah. 
because their deed was evil. For every one that doeth evil hate the light. They ain't coming to cornerstone, neither come to the light, lest their deed should be reproved. But he that doeth truth come to the light, that his deed may be made manifest that they also wrought in God. Oh, Heavenly Father, in Jesus. God, I'm at a place where I don't have to make up nothing. I don't have to add nothing. I don't have to take away. And I'm not a money preacher. I'm here because you said if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men. God, I come to lift up that name that is above every name. And that name is Jesus. Sin had to come subject to that name. God, I ask right now that you send your spirit in this place to rest, to rule, to deliver, to set free. But God, most of all, have your way in me. And God, we give you the praise, we give you the thank. In your son Jesus' name we pray in every heart to say amen, amen, and amen. You can have your seat, take the load off your feet. I ain't said it in a while, but I used to tell people, buckle up. Because I have been known to throw people out of, the, out of the church. God is trying to tell us something. And the world has got to the point that preachers don't let the people make you a God. You know, now everybody's switching God's word to fit the people that they can get a lot of people in the church. I don't care if the church get empty. And I ain't going to be preaching in no pews and no walls and I ain't talking no light. Somebody's going to be here and don't be no Katrina. That's my wife, by the way. I'll preach to her if everybody else go. But everybody is trying to make everybody comfortable. Well, when Jesus was on the cross, he wasn't comfortable. When he shed his blood for me, he was not comfortable. When he went to Gethsemane, he wasn't comfortable. He said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. He said, uh, taking on the sin of terror, it, 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 it hurt me. And now we don't want to hurt for God. We want to be kissing cousins with nobody. We don't want to, we don't want to offend nobody with the, with the Bible. We want to make everybody, well, you know you all right. You ain't all right in sin. Ain't no sense of no dyke all right. Ain't all right. And they get mad with me. I came there like that. I came there like that. This is what it said. Can I just talk to y'all for a few minutes? It said, living holy and holy living. See, you can't say I'm living holy and not have holy living. See, you got a lot of people saying they're holy, but they ain't living holy. So we got a lot of people saying a lot of things, but they're offended with me because I'm doing it. I ain't got no sugar. I ain't got no domino. I ain't got nothing to make nobody feel good in him. I come to tell you, you can't make it in unless you do what God tells you. I got a little better with the church after I got there a little while. You know, I got a little more cleaner than I was, you know. I went from dogs. I went to insane. I went to a little better. I still was going to the club. I, I still was getting high a little bit. You know, I ain't talking about me now. I ain't, I ain't, I'm just talking about how y'all. All of them ain't me. I want to make that clear because y'all go out, I told you. But anyway, what I'm saying is we change a little bit when we come to church. Let know, know how we change a little bit. It's the church we like. Now let me explain something to you. A lot of people tell me, man, this one my grandmama, my granddaddy, my mama, my mama. My dad, sister, brother, all of them, everybody in the church. My mama bought some pew. Well, let me tell you something. The Bible says you should trust in the Lord. Huh? And lean not to your own understanding. But acknowledge God in all your ways. How many of y'all don't acknowledge God what church you should go to? I understand, grandmama. I understand, daddy. I understand. So let them have the pew. Or either get it, screw it up there, take it with you. Find out where God wants you at. 
Listen how he said this. Listen to this. I want y'all to listen carefully. The first place in our life must be God. Y'all hear me? When something or someone occupies the first place, it's idolatry. When God is not first, whoever is first or whatever first, it's idolatry. You worshiping something that ain't God. I know y'all, and I know y'all live, you know, like your friend or your mom and daddy. You come, mom ain't saying you don't want to tell mama this and that. Well, you might as well not be saying. I got a little better. When I come to church on Sunday, I'm pure. I'm holy. But after church, before church even get out again, y'all see the bottom part? Well, let me make it a little clear to y'all because y'all don't, y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Y'all understand what I'm saying. You keep the top part for God and keep the bottom for yourself. You still do what you want to with this part when you leave church or whatever you want to do. And I know y'all ain't in here. Don't y'all, y'all ain't got the question I'm going to preach. I promise you, I'm, I'm going to preach. I'm, I promise you that. He said, when something or someone occupy the first place, it's idolatry. Rejection is God's way of saying wrong direction. God try to tell you, Ella, do not go that. You don't need that. Wrong direction. It's going to mess you up. Y'all know what we do? We override. You know like some of y'all go to the bank and you got overdraft. You ain't got no money. But you willing to pay the penalty. Every sin, everything y'all do, you're going to have to pay the penalty. I said, where did you go? Sell out for the people against God. Mm -mm -mm. Now, y'all listen to this. I'm taking y'all somewhere. I'm setting y'all up. He said, in Matthew 4 and 4, it said, but he, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. How many are living by all this? See, that's what I'm talking about. See, some of y'all don't came to church and you're still empty. You ain't received nothing God don't say. We sin rather him. I can tell you right now, the ways of sin and death, you'll still go sin because you're empty. They said, well, I hope you hear me all. I'm coming. It said, God beat the devil with three words. Amen. See, a lot of y'all say y'all don't serve the devil, but if you drop the D, what you got? A lot of y'all evil. You work for him. When you're not saved and you're not born again, any one of them, you working for the devil. Any one of them. It's that way God is. Now, let me tell y'all about me. Let me help y'all right now. I aim at no one, but I hit everyone. You know, aim means that like a gun or taking pictures, but I miss no one. Now, I ain't aiming at none of y'all, but I'm going to hit everybody. Y'all ain't got to say nothing. I want black because I want y'all to be judged by this word. And the pews you sit on, they are black because God told me to make them black for judgment. Because he knew I was going to preach truth. So as you set your tail down, God's going to be able to judge you when you leave him. You might not never come back. A lot of people don't come back. I don't care if they don't come back. Why do the Bible say holy Bible and we ain't holy? Because we want to do things that... God didn't want us to do. 
My message today, Jesus will judge the whole world with himself. Let me say it again. Jesus will judge the whole world with himself. And let me tell you how I explain that to you. When God was on the cross, Jesus was on the cross, he said, Father, it is finished. Yeah. He already condemned the devil. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. We ain't got no way that we can tell God why we still in sin. Yeah. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about us believers. Yeah. I'm talking about us that's supposed to be in the Galloway for these. Yeah. If you find yourself at these, you, you got a problem. But what he died for us, for us to be the salt of the earth. Big difference in them three, them five, them four. God kept me safe until I got saved. Everything that I did that I shouldn't have been doing, I didn't even know no better. I was ignorant to the fact. But he kept me, could have had AIDS, but he kept me from AIDS. Could, don't been in car wreck, could have been dead. He kept me from it. He don't kept y'all from a lot of things, and y'all still had been grateful to what he kept y'all from. He said, but he answered and said, it is written. Y'all hear what he said? It is written. In other words, he going to judge the world with three words. It is written. It don't matter how man try to change it. The vision of Psalm 119.89 says, I already sell it. In heaven. So y'all can get all the new translations y'all want. Y'all can scratch stuff out that God said. Y'all can do whatever you want to do. Change the book, add, get out of the book, and everybody want to get the other book. We can't even do the sick to sick book. I don't need no more. I became this. Now I'm going to ask y'all to lie. How many of y'all became this? What God desired for you to become. The salt of the earth. How many of y'all still trying to find out what you need to be? Let me show you how God said, in the beginning, what's the word? And the word was with God. This is what it said in 1 John 5 and 7. It said, for, thee, for there are three that bear record in heaven. Three. Ain't that so? It said, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Now the thing get me. Can you compact all that in here? Because I, I got the Father. And I got the Holy Ghost. And I got the Word. That's why he tells us we, you got to be born again. Because all three of them is agreeing in heaven. And so when you go against the Word of God, you eliminate Jesus. The one you say you love. The one that said Father is sinning. We eliminate Jesus when we go against the Word of God. And a lot of that night, if we were to be honest, he ain't nowhere close to our life. But just listen to what I'm going to say. He's still going to judge the whole world with himself. And listen to what he said. In Hebrews 10, 31, he said, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Now, then what I'm telling y'all, that should be fearful. All y'all still here know you shouldn't be here. But y'all ain't scared to die. Because you know why you ain't scared to die? You hear so many preachers lie that everybody going to heaven. You hear so many people, you, you see senses go, they, they go to, you go to a senses funeral, you go to a drunkard funeral, you go to a drug, man don't kill everybody. Everybody go to heaven. That ain't what the Bible said. It's what it said. He said, in Hebrews 9, 27, he said, and it is appointed unto man once to die. 
But after that, the judgment. He said, after you die. He said, after you die. I don't care what you, I don't care who everybody make you feel good, whatever that. He says, the point on the man wants to die. Then he come back and tell you the wages of sin is death. And y'all don't believe that because you keep sinning. Which one? Because he's going to judge you by because he made it that you could be this one, that you ain't even got to be him. Because when I came in, I was like that. I got a little better. I ain't never really been having had too much, but we know we in here. And some of y'all just still empty. Some of y'all don't believe nothing God said. Y'all know I'm telling the truth? Come on, I'm, I'm going to get there, I'm going to get there. He said, listen how he said it. He said, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Then he come back in Romans 10 and 3, because I'm going to give y'all a script because that's what's going to judge you. Yes, See, people can say I'm a condemning preacher, I'm a bashing preacher. Well, how you talk about God's word like that? How, how, how you say I'm a basher, I'm a condemning, I'm a hell preacher, I'm a fire brimstone. When you want to get burned now, then to get burned later? When you want to, when you want to go through all your burning now, before I die, lay down and burn, huh? When I can't get it right no more, I can't even, I can't even talk to God no more. I preach one message. What in the hell do you want? What in the hell do you want? It's hot, eternal, low, and lonely. And all your homeboys, all your homegirls, everybody you've been freaking with. The devil meet, the devil meet all y'all in the lake. He's talking to us. Oh, I'm going to talk to y'all. Listen to what he said. He come back in Romans 10 and 3. He said, for they being ignorant of God righteous. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Yeah. See, God don't care about how you, how you is. God don't care if a, a man be with a man. Love is love. But that ain't when he said, if you love me, you'll keep my word. His word said it's wrong to be with a. Mm -hmm. It's even wrong to shack. One thing my little daughter said the church is crazy. Because they think they can do anything they want to and they ain't going to hell. And they're trying to avoid me thinking they ain't going to hell. You can't avoid me. I'm everywhere. You know, I, I thought about, uh, I was telling Jeff in my head, I thought about Apostle Freddie Lindsay and, and how the foundation he gave me. And uh, can't nobody take that away because the foundation he gave me is what our church is established on. And get what, Miss? I refuse to let the standard that he gave me go down. Because y'all are, are some jelly back scary jokers to tell the word what it say. Hell is where you're going to lift your eyes up if you ain't changing. If you listen to that, you can't comfort nobody and think you're all right. You ain't no preacher. I would not let Apostle Fred A. Lindsay, what he gave me, hit the ground. So while he resting, I'm running with it. Why, why all of them, why they trying to keep me quiet? You can't keep me quiet. I'm preaching what he gave me. So as I preach, he lives. And what I'm preaching is going to judge a lot of y'all. You ain't got to say nothing. I love him, man. I love him. I love him. He showed me by the word of God how to be the best husband. Been married a whole bunch of years and still has yet to have an argument. That's my wife talk to. Him. I have yet to raise my voice to my wife. And when my sons were trying to be freaking in the world, if they come home with a CD and I get my car and the CD in there, plop, and you know what they say? Daddy, when I was with your CD, well, it should have been in my car. 
He told me the way, he told me the ways of sin was death. I took it and run. He said, for they being ignorant of God right. I couldn't be ignorant. I had a man of God give me the truth. It's what he said. He said, going about to establish their own righteousness. I ain't trying to establish mine and not submitted themselves unto the right of God. How many of y'all submitted? You, you cannot be submitted to God that way. That's what everybody was telling me when, when you start talking about man. All the people in the world, when I was in the world, you know, I came in like that. The first thing the man tell you, your wife should submit to the home. And you know what I did? That's the only scripture everybody know in the world. But they'll put that, they'll put that on y'all church women. But since I'm a preacher of the word, he said, submit one to another and feel God. If that joke ain't submitted to God, don't submit to him. I be telling I be telling women to him, but They'll submit to anybody. That's what he said. He's talking to her. He said, he said, Terry, he said, having not submitted themselves to the righteous God. That's why you're here. A lot of y'all go to church, but you ain't submitted. Can I, can I prove? This is how you know better. In 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, he said, let Satan should get an advantage of us. Now listen how God cleared us up. For we are not ignorant of his device. Y'all not ignorant when them jokers be hollering at you. Y'all not ignorant to that. Y'all just want to fall subject to that. Because you know you ain't submitted to God. So what you do? You give in to the devil. You just come to church and say you're a believer. But when you in the world, you drop the D off. This is what it says. Listen to that God. And they don't want nobody to judge them. They say, I'm a judge. They say, they, I'm a German preacher. People say they're a German preacher, but they ain't no German preacher. Let me tell you what the German preacher said. Joshua 24 and 14 said, Now therefore, fear the Lord. He said, Fear the Lord. One scripture said, The beginning of knowledge, one said, The beginning of wills. He said, Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity. Y'all hear that? Now, how many of y'all serve him in sincerity? See, I'm telling you, he did what he's going to judge you by. These preachers can tell you anything you want. I know y'all, I know y'all like Psalm 23, but that was David's prayer. The Lord's prayer is St. John 17. It ain't, it ain't Psalm 23, that was David. So y'all start talking about the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. Where you following him at? David was making a statement. I see how y'all look. I got y'all right now. He said, and put away the God which your father served on the other side of the flood in Egypt, in, in Egypt, and serve the Lord. He come back in John 7 and 24. He said, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. He said, don't judge by how they look, how they come into church. But judge by the righteousness of the Lord. So if I judge by the righteousness of the Lord, then I'm going to judge you by his word. I pray we'll all be ready. I pray we'll all be ready. This is what Psalm 7 and 11 said. It said, God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. All these wicked. And I don't see how a wicked person can hear this and pretend you saved and sit in here comfortable. I don't, I don't understand. It. God ain't no fear in you when God telling you that he opened up the whole land when they were going against him. Y'all know the scripture? He opened up the whole earth and sucked all of them down except for the young people. And here y'all live. Won't even look on him. That what he told him out there? If you look on the serpent, you'll live. This is what he said. Ain't he talking good? I love him too, man. I love him. This is what else he said. He come back talking to him. He come back in Matthew 4 and 17. He said, from that time, Jesus began to 
preach and say, repent for the kingdom of heaven in their hand. He said, now repent for the kingdom of heaven in their hand. And that's why I said so honest to tell the people what the word say and not what I think. So let me show you what my honesty is. He said, so then everyone of us should give account of himself to God. Amen. So that means regardless of how you feel about my preaching, every one of us is going to have to give account to God. So that means while you sit there, you might be loving what you're doing, but don't die. Don't die. And all the work, he, they come out here. All the words you don't hear, somewhere you had faith in it, but now you don't lost it because you, the world is telling you something else. You know, the internet, them, them, them iPhone, y'all Google everything but God. What, what that song you just on? Y'all ought to say amen every now and then. But see, y'all been taught amen means so big. So y'all, y'all try to be silent. Y'all know you say amen, that means you agree, agree. So y'all small enough to be silent, but sometimes silent is a betrayal. This is what he said. He's talking now because God wanted to know. This is how he said it. He's so grateful. He's so grateful. Listen to what he said. He said in Galatians 5 and 16 to 17. That's why you know our church going to be bored. When God see, will see us come up there, he going to automatically eject us. He said, where are your ticket for? Oh, my ticket is for heaven. He said, well, give me, well, give me your ticket. Show me your ticket. And he said, well, I don't have a ticket. Well, my radar ain't picking up that you were saved neither. My radar ain't picking up that you had the Holy Ghost. You didn't even know what the ticket is. You were looking for a real ticket, dummy. I am keep telling y'all, it's a spiritual God one of the spiritual people. He don't want it. I know people don't like this because they like to hear them preachers read 15 scriptures and they don't dissect none. They say, I'm going to tag one. I'm going to tag every scripture I'm giving you because I want you to know one thing. He's going to judge you by He's going to judge. I know I tell anybody, you, if you take notes of him, boy, you're going to be taking a lot of scripture. Let me get them around here. In Galatians 5, 16 and 17, he said this I say, then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So when you doing things that's against God, you know what you're walking in. And guess what? God's going to judge you by it. This is what he said. He said, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other. So that you cannot do the thing that you would. So while we fight, while y'all fight me so much, it's because you're in your flesh. All y'all going against the word of God, y'all in y'all flesh. I ain't got no dough, but dough number one, dough number two, dough number three, dough number four, and the pride will be right. He, everything he told you. Listen to how God said it. God got all this in the word. In Ezekiel 34 and 17, they always tell me, don't judge me, don't judge me. You can't be judging nobody. He said, and as for you, O my flock, thus said the Lord God, behold, I judge between the cattle and the cattle, between the ram and the goat. He said, in Ezekiel 34 and, and 20, he said, therefore, thus said the Lord God unto them. Behold, he said, look, I even, I will judge between the fat cow and between the lean cow. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm green them that don't eat good, and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm judge them that ain't eat good. Ain't God bad? And they're talking about, but God judge me now. Let me, give me a chance to get fat. I ain't talking about some of y'all just fat. I'm talking about, I said, I'm talking about the spirit. God's going to judge, he said, I'm going to judge both of them. Listen how God said this. We're going to talk about the word because the word is going to judge you. Listen how God said it. He come back in Revelation 3, 3 and 19. You know, a lot of people don't want to deal with Revelation. He said, as many as I love. He said, I rebuke. You rebuke.
rebuke somebody in the church, they ain't coming back. If I rebuke some of y'all right now, you know the first thing I'll do, y'all gonna call the other members that you know that ain't living right too. Or y'all, or you, or either y'all will call the one that don't left him. Because you know a lot of y'all still deal with people that don't left him, which I ain't got no problem with it. That just show you who, your connection. He said, as many as I love. He, this God said, as many as I love. That's what I feel he said too. As many as I love. And since I, God gave me the church, I love God people. I rebuke them too. I rebuke them too. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. Come in here doing wrong. Yeah, see, they be playing with y'all, letting y'all go to church. And most of the time, because you pay good time. I don't care nothing about your time. Ain't no blood. I'm going to be just like Tyler. I'm a, I, I, I ain't even got to wipe my hand. Tyler want to wash his hand because he was finna kill an innocent man. Y'all ain't going to be able to judge me like that. You see what it said? The truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Y'all ain't going to get me. This is what it said. Overstep God's word. God must be firm. Jesus is the righteous judge. Now listen to what he said now. I'm going to give y'all something. This Romans 2 and 16. He said, in the day when God shall judge the secret of men by Jesus Christ according to the gospel. Yeah. So they thought I was making up something. He's going to judge y'all according to the gospel. Yeah. This is what he said. Ain't he good, y'all? Yeah. This is what he said. Judge, just in case y'all didn't look it up, I looked it up. He said, judge, one who make judgment. And everybody tell them they can't judge me. But when you go to a car and look at a car, what you do? Say, ah, uh, it ain't got no, no good sound system in it. You judge that car. How y'all pick y'all men and women? You got to look at them and say, yeah. Huh? Don't, don't we judge? Huh? Everybody, y'all talking to all y'all. Take a few minutes. We're going to time out for a minute. A few minutes. Judge your life. Where you at right now? Because God's going to judge you by where you at. I'm trying to say something to y'all. Because you're hearing all this garbage that you think you're good. And then because you be, I witnessed somebody, I gave a lady $5 across the street. You can't go to heaven on $5. He son died. Everybody tell me, I'm just a good person. I help anybody. That's not going to get you in. He said, you must be born again. Said nothing about no getting no $5. $5. If that was going to get me in, I would have been up. The God could have came on and got me. He said, judge. He said, one who give an authoritarian opinion. He said, a person who is in charge of trial in a court and decision how a person who is guilty of a crime should be punished. So when God look at y'all, he going to say, well, I know Apostle Simon gave you the truth and told you you should live by the word and all of the word, but y'all choose to pick what he want. Now listen to what John said. Now just, 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 just Jesus talking. He said, now you are clean through the word which I will spoken on you. Now everybody trying to tell me that they clean, but they ain't by the word. See, when the word comes, that's why he'll judge you by it, because he's going to know you ain't clean. Ephesians 5 and 26 said that you need a bath. Yeah. He said by the washing by the word. Yeah. So more people get mad when you preach the word. Right. Yeah. 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 This is what he said. He's trying to prepare all of us for a word. He said in Psalms 66 and 18, he said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. I'm 
I'm going to say that again because I don't think y'all got that. See, a lot of y'all got stuff in y'all heart and y'all praying, but it ain't going nowhere. See, then what the truth do, the truth, it, it gets you free. Like my wife said, I don't care how God hit me. Hit me right smack down between my eyes if you need to get my attention. Because once I get to hell, there is no more hidden, there is no more nothing. That's a decision you made. And you will be burning regularly. Ain't no meeting you around, ain't none of that. It's well done. You know, that's the way I like my steak, but I ain't going to hell. I see how them steaks suffer. This is what he said. He said in Psalm 66 and 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not heal me. If I got stuff in my heart, in the poor pit, anywhere you at, if you got stuff in your heart, God cannot hear you. And if you're in the poor pit preaching and you got stuff in your heart, you ain't nothing but a devil. Because your word is not going to be anointed to squat down you. If you got it in your heart. I know everybody say nothing in their heart. Y'all say it in him. But ask yourself why God ain't gave you what you asked for. <laughs> That's what he said. Ain't God good? Yeah. Lord, help us. And then we always saying this in the church because we always pimp God. God, if you get me out of this, I ain't going to never do it again. I need, I need some other arm for that. Y'all know we quick to say that. God, if you just, just don't let my mama whoop me. Don't let my daddy whoop me, God. God, I'm telling you, I'm going to start singing in church and everything. The children will start testifying. <laughs> yeah, listen to what he said. He said, it is not with man writing. It is not what man write, but it's what God has wrote in his word that really makes all the difference. He already wrote it. Man trying to write a book. I'm about TDJ book. For what? Well, I'm about y'all didn't know he was y'all didn't know he was going with y'all didn't know he was going to poet. Oh, y'all heard it. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Well, TDJ, get ready, get ready, get ready. That's all y'all want to hear, all these liars. Like that dude Todd and all them. He ain't no but a, he ain't no but a big old undercover sister. A single day in hell will be worse than a whole life spent carrying the cross. Single day. One day, and all y'all making preparation. I see some of y'all face on chain when I start talking about these other preachers. That's cause you ain't saved. See, you gotta, you gotta be spiritual to understand spirit. He said the flesh cannot understand the spiritual thing. A natural man, in other words, can't understand why I said that. Well, first of all, I'm a man, I ain't gay. And one thing about it, I know a sister. And y'all women do too. Because they act like y'all, at least they try. I told you, it, 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 it's a war going on right now. I don't, I don't, care, nothing, I don't care nothing about it. And, and, and you know, hey, get what, get what? You know who told me how to fight like this? Apostle Fred A. Liz. He showed me how to fight the enemy with the word. You can't fight it with yourself, Apostle. You can't do it. But with the word. And he said, out of my mouth should flow. I knock the devil out with the, with the word. That's what it said. Now let me ask y'all a question because y'all are trying to make it a joke. It ain't no joke. Is it what God said what you feel? Let's go back to being serious. Is it what I'm saying the truth or what you feel like keeping you here? Don't try to switch that thing up on me. I came out the screen. Shoot, I ain't always been saved, but I ain't going to make no excuse for it. Can I get, get y'all my mother-in-law favorite scripture? 
number 32 and 23. But if you will not do so, behold, he said, look, you have sinned against the Lord. And be sure your sin is going to find you out. And you ain't going to have to wait to judge. Is, 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 is a lot of y'all saved? Or y'all just in here? Y'all just was saving and y'all was just singing and running and, and, and everything. And I was just saying to myself, <laughs> boy, they don't know what I'm finna preach, but I'm finna judge them jokers. I'm finna get them. God said, I'm gonna judge y'all. Y'all don't, huh, they don't like that? This is what he said. Boy, God is so good. I love him too, because he's so he's so easy. Y'all don't, y'all don't know how easy he is because y'all study fighting him. Y'all forgetting I, I aim at no one. I ain't gonna say holler if I hit you. Because I don't want y'all to be offended. I don't like making the people be get offended. But listen how God said it. He said. In Matthew 12, 37, he said, for by thy word. Now, y'all know, now that's what people get new translations for. It said, T-H-Y. Yeah. By thou. Thou mean you. Yes, huh? Yes, he said, by thy word, by y'all words, yes, that confessing Christ, you're going to be justified and condemned by your word. Yes, now, how many of y'all really say how many of y'all really love God? How many of y'all really born again? How many of y'all really live by what God say? I'm talking about, I don't care what he say. And when, he, when you hear that it ain't you, you get it right. He ain't died for nothing for me. I'm going to use everything he don't gave me. Listen to what they said. And then what people said, they said, well, you can't judge me. Well, let me get you a I know y'all are them preachers that don't been to school that ain't got the Holy Ghost. See, I've been, I got a degree too, but... Uh, I'm born again. I got a BA. I got a BA degree. I, I got that. But let me show you how, how God punched you in the right direction. In 1 Corinthians 6, 1 and 3, he said, Dare any of you having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the same. Say, so y'all ain't got no business. Let me finish. He said, do you know that the saints shall judge the world. Hold up, hold up. They didn't want to go to Matthew 7 and tell me I can't judge them. That ain't what it said. But he telling me in convention, I'm going to judge the world. And God going to judge you by his word too. You part of the world. Ain't he good? I'm glad I ain't no hooper preacher. I, 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 believe I, I believe I put a little sound to my voice like, hey, sh shit rag. <laughs> In a bit of gold. Oh, Lord. Y'all come alive. Because it's a sound that y'all looking for, not the truth. It's a sound that y'all looking for. You know, your preacher got to tell the keyboard player, y'all coming back up. Because y'all know every keyboard player and drummer, they mostly go outside and don't even listen to the word of God. Them jokers, they had to, they had to tap the window or something to get them to come back in there. I tell these jokers, you better get a Bible in your hand. You won't be playing to him. Should we do our cappella? Just to put a, a devil on the thing. He said, do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? He said, and if the world shall be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge these small matters? But this, this is what I want to get to right here, man. This power right here, this is what I'm saying now. Now, don't you hear me? Listen. He said, Know ye not that we should judge the angels. What? Judge the angels? You mean to tell me God going to take an earthly person like me and judge his angels? And then I can't judge y'all? Now that's our way of trying to stay in sin. That's our way of trying to tell God, you don't tell me what to do. You're trying to tell me in a nice way because you're telling me I can't judge. 
But I'm still going to judge because when you bring your little nags and seven here, I'm going to give you the truth and then let it fall wherever it want to fall. You can get out of here. You can get mad. Find you another church. Y'all know I don't care. Get up out of here. Get you another church. This is what they say. He's talking about you again. In Mark 7, 6 and 7, he said, he answered and said and, and unto them, where well, haven't Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrite? You coming in here, acting like you're saved, coming here with fire, a garment, fire and garment on. You know, you have one joke. How you get here? How, how you get to the way? Friend. How, how you get in here? Everybody here, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. How you get in here? Uh, how you? Sean, how they get in here? How y'all get in this holy church? Friend. This is what he said. This is what he said. He said, as it is written, there it again. He said, the people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Hereby in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrine of the commandment of man. That's all they could be concerned about. Well, God said, I'm going to make it. You know, if John had made it, I'm going to make it. This is what he said. I love this right here because it verifies who we're supposed to be. Jesus will judge the whole world with himself. Let me say y'all get it. Sometime holding on Holding on does, a, does more damage than letting go. You know, some we should let go, we hold on to it. Like, like, like tug of war, and, and you know you're about to lose, and still you letting go, you keep holding on that rope, that rope burn your hand. That's how y'all hold on to that stuff y'all doing that God ain't got good. It, it's going to do a lot of damage to you, and you're holding on to it. You won't let it go. God trying to give you something new, you still hold it on. God trying to tell you, that ain't no good for you. You still hold on. Y'all hold on to all that. And some of y'all sitting here like y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You're in sin, in other words. Let me just break it down to you. They all them in sin since y'all act like y'all don't know what them vessels mean. And you know what? You had to prepare to be a vessel of honor, to stand alone. Because when you live right and you preach like I preach, I had to prepare to stand alone. Why do you think Jesus went and prayed by himself? Let me give y'all this. In, in Matthew 7, 16, he said, you shall know them by their fruit. That sounds like judgment to me. He said, you should know them by their fruit. And I used to tell the church all the time, you know, I just started like a salad when I got married. You know, my wife got me eating a lot of stuff I wouldn't eat because, you know, I came out of the coat. And a lot of stuff we didn't eat. We didn't, we didn't have, the, the, like everybody else had, the, all the money for that. My, you know, it was 10 of us, and we didn't eat all that. But well, when they cooked them beans, they got cornbread and that rice. And, hey, we, do, we finna do that. Hey, I wouldn't trade where I was for nobody because I learned how to enjoy both life. But what I'm saying to us is that we, when I used to go, when my wife told me about a salad, I ain't like salad. Nah, I ain't like them. But if I go trying to get some stuff for a salad, I'm going to inspect and judge the fruit. If I want a fresh tomato, I'm not getting no tomato with no bruises on it. Or soggy. So some of y'all believers in here are bruised and soggy. And I like, I like cucumber. And if you can pick the cucumber up and automatic with your fingers, it's soft. You know that's a bad. And some of y'all lettuce looking brown. That's what I'm saying. See, this is why people tell you you can't judge them, but it said it right here. It's a scripture. You can't argue. That's why they can't argue me. That's why I tell them. My number eight five zero two nine two thirteen nine three. Any of y'all preacher want to call me a uh, bishop, apostle, all that? Call me eight five zero two nine two thirteen nine three. I've been saying that for years. They ain't got a call yet. 
You let one of them put their number on there, something they don't say it wrong, tell me, let me get it. This is what he said. He said, you shall know them by their fruit. Y'all see the difference in them? You look at them and you look at that one. Y'all, it's a difference. He said, do men gather grapes or thorns or figs out of this? Now, this is one I want y'all to listen to. Matthew 7, 20. He said, wherefore, by the fruit, you shall know them. Now, now, now I ain't going to judge you, but by y'all cucumber. You know, I like homemade fruit fries. But I don't like it when they brown, you know, and that soft stuff. That, that, that. You know, we had some, we had some, we had some potato went bad in our house. And fruit flies came here well. Yeah. Because if it sat there long enough, it turned into liquid. Yeah. Y'all heard it say? The potato turned into liquid. Yeah. And it brought yeah. fruit flies. Yeah. So some of y'all been sitting here a long time. And you're empty. God gonna judge the world with himself. I'm gonna let y'all get out of here because I know y'all ready to go. I can look at y'all and tell just, just while looking at you. This is what he said in Judges 10, 13, and 14. It said, ye Yet ye have forsaken me. Y'all hear that? He said, y'all have forsaken me. He said, and serve other God. He said, wherefore I will deliver you no more. You know how y'all you, you know been sin and a lot of y'all been getting away and then you pray and you think if God asks you, you say, God, if you could just get me out of this. You know the doctor say he think he see something. But you can just get him out there, and then as soon as you get a good report, you switch out on God. You know, and you, we do that a lot. We do that a lot on bills and everything. God let this extension go through. We, we, we think we be just, we think we be getting over on God. And, and God let the extension go through. And then when you get money, you don't even want to get off. Y'all know I'm bad with money, so ain't y'all getting there. But listen how God said this, though, in judging. He said, go and cry unto the God which you have chosen, and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. He said, now, I'm, I, he the same yesterday, the day, and forevermore. Don't y'all try to switch out, tell me that Old Testament, all the other stuff in the Old Testament. The Lord and my shepherd the Old Testament. Don't y'all switch out on me, tell me that Old Testament. He said, go get your stuff from your God that you have served. I know the Bible is right. Somebody's wrong. <laughs> oh, Lord. Boy, I'm so glad I got saved and I ain't got the burden with y'all. I'm so glad I got saved, boy. And I, I'm talking about saved for real. I ain't talking about gambling. Ain't God good, y'all? Y'all can say good, y'all. This is what he said in 1 Peter 4 and 5. He said, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Ooh, that sounds like, sound like Jesus. Because one scripture said he commanded all the judgment to his son. And you got people that don't even want to go. They don't want to live by Jesus. They want to live by God. You know who fooled them? Tupac. Tupac fooled them people. Tupac had everybody buying shirts. That people come to me. Oh, can't nobody judge me but God. But that's the wrong judgment. Look, there's two judgments. There's a judgment seat of Christ where I'm going, and then there's the, 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 the uh, white throne judgment. Now, if you go to the white throne judgment, that's Revelation. Look. He's so, he's so bad in Revelation. See, they don't really want to talk about it. Let me talk to you. <laughs> He said that even the sea going to give the day. You get all these people, I be telling them, they trying to get cremated. Don't get burned twice. Don't get, I just, look, 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 look. And you ain't got to do it. Some people do it because of money, but some people do it just think they're going to get away. You can't get away. You can't get away. I can understand anybody getting cremated don't have money for a funeral. And then two, I don't know, it's always good to get them the money. 
Because he's still going to judge. This is what it said. He said, the quick and dead. He come back in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. Y'all ready to go? He said, we must all appear before the judge, judge and see the Christ, that everyone may receive the thing that done in their body according to that he has done, whether it be good, whether it be good. What that song you sung? Y'all got to change your heart, man. That's shame. That's shame, man. I, the game don't got tight on me. I need somebody to come on the bench. Ain't nobody. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't switch that on me. I thought I had all y'all would believe. Quite full of, of what they, what y'all is. What, tomatoes, soft, tomato, what, what? Where y'all, where the believer go? I told y'all what the church doing. And they can't say that. Oh, he act like his church right. Not the way I'm preaching to him. No, y'all better stop telling that lie. They want to find some moment, but they can't find no moment because I'm, 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 I'm real with God. Listen what it said. This is how he's going to judge. He said, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and earth. He said, that my daddy gave me all power. This is what I want to leave with y'all. The word that I have spoken to you the same will judge you in the last day. Y'all yeah. might not even get judged by it today. But they're going to judge y'all in the last day. That's what he said. That was my introduction. <laughs> he said, for God so loved the world. I'm going to get y'all out of here. I ain't, I ain't playing. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Y'all testify. He gave his life for a life. When y'all gonna give him y'all? Y'all talk to me. Don't sit in here like y'all don't hear me. When y'all gonna give him what he gave for you? That's what I'm talking about. We just going to church. We just going to church. Everybody just going to church. But I, I'm, I'm going to help y'all. I'm going to help y'all in him. This is what he said. He's talking to us because God wanted to know. He said, for God sent his son into the world to condemn the world, not to condemn the world. He said, but that the world through him may be saved. Now, the 18 verse is what the church don't like. They like the 16 and the 17, but they don't like the 18 verse. It's in the same favorite passage that y'all like. The 18 verse, he said, he that believe on him is not condemned. Y'all hear that? But he that believes not is condemned already. So you ain't got the way to die. You condemned already. Can I... Can I take a few minutes playing it? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let y'all go. A lot of people say they got faith, but they don't believe. John three sixteen says you got to believe. So if I really don't believe what the Bible says, then my faith ain't strong. But see, what I did to get graduate, I came to believe. My faith grow, that my confidence grow that I begin to trust in them. And all the words right there, if you look them up, it's one word. It starts with belief. All three of the words are connected with faith, confidence, and trust. And when I connected all that, that's how the church got paid off, because I got the promise. A lot of mad women, because I did it right, Promise made, promise kept, and now everybody mad. They ought to be trying to come out and find out how did you get the church paid out? Here we've been had a church almost 100 years and we're still in debt. Yeah. Getting all them people money, can't help them, won't give them a dime. Yeah. Won't give them a dime. No, no, no. Y'all ought to testify. Don't act like y'all don't hear me. And y'all don't have to go through no trustee board or nothing. Y'all call my number. You don't call it no other time, hardly, but you. This is what he said. He said, and this is come to them nation that light has come into the world and me and little darkness rather than light.
This is what y'all love seeing. Y'all don't care what nobody say, how they say it. Y'all love what the world is giving y'all. Because you know why? You ain't spiritual, so you can't feel God. So you need something tangible. Can't feel God in my heart. Where do you think you fall in love at? In your mind. You don't fall in love with your heart. All y'all drawing a heart. You need to start drawing your mind. What do you think make you steal? Your mind. He said, for everyone that doeth evil, hate coming to Cornerstone. Even our own member. That part of something crazy, man. Elevation in my life requests separation. Can I tell him, Ella? Tell me, tell me, tell him, Ella. Don't none of these crooked preachers like dealing with me. All of them know me. They don't like dealing with me because I ain't got no time to be scratching hand with a crook. Yeah, they don't deal with me. And have y'all talk to them? Yeah, I am the man. I am Apostle Terry Simpson. And if you really know what an apostle was, it's to put the church back in order. I ain't got time to be kissing cousin with y'all. I'm throwing with the Bible. And God has shown me him. He showed me him. I ain't got time. I'm telling the preacher, y'all going to hell. Borrowing people money and then don't give it back. Taking your member money. No, you a crook. It's what it said. It said, Jesus answered and said unto them, you do error not knowing the scripture, not the power of God. See, I'm getting your scripture. I'm telling you, you ain't got to be fooled by man. Now stop, y'all stop getting your, you know, some of y'all be sending your other people money. This is what he said. He said, Second Corinthians 13, 8, job, you can get ready. It said, but we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You can't do nothing what I'm saying. That's why they can't find nothing. They can't, they can't never find nothing. On, they try to talk about, he used to be a hoe. Uh-huh. They said, he used to play basketball. Uh-huh. He used to live away. Uh-huh. And he preached the hell out of him. And, <laughs> and, and, just take a y'all crazy. I'm telling y'all, this is how he said it. Y'all playing. He said in John 5, 38 and 40, I'm getting y'all out of here. You have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, him you believe not. Apostle Simba. He said, such the scripture. He said, I don't want you such in a man. Such a scripture. See if that joker telling you the truth or not. See if your preacher telling you the truth. Such a scripture. Such a, what you laughing about, man? You're a bad man. Why you better say it? They used to call me terrible. See, I can't use that no more. It's just like I told them. I, I, <laughs> LGBTQ. Come on, come on, LBGQDR. J E S U S. Y'all ain't the only one got no letter, but we got a name with our letter that's above all names. There's healing in that name. Shut your mouth. There's deliverance in that name. What? J E S U S. Sound like when I used to be when Washington used to be being PHS. It's W H S. Lord have mercy. I don't trust. I don't miss you at all. He says, such a scripture, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. Even so have the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live the gospel. Y'all shouldn't be just preaching and ain't living. Yeah, you can get up here and put a scripture, a, a, a scripture, a, a message together, because you know they sell them at the Bible bookstore, or you can get them off the internet. They sell them. They sell them. Later, try to give me some at the Bible bookstore. 
I told him, man, I'm called by God. You might need to let me write something and put it in here. <laughs> ah, Lord, have mercy. All right, I'm close. I'm through. He said, but as he which has called you is holy. What, you going to play my song? All right, then. Don't come here playing your own stuff in your flesh. He said, but as he which has called you is holy. Cornerstone. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Now, that conversation not talking about, it's talking about your lifestyle. When I'm in the bathroom, Jane, on the commode, I'm just a holy I am preacher. And I ain't cussing in there, you know. Come on, man, play the song. I like you gonna play it. There you go. Play it like you feel it, like you like you like you like you know you can play it. Said because it was written. Be ye holy, because your Lord God is holy. What manner of man is this, that the wind obey him? What, what manner of man is this? He said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You must be born again. You can't play with it. You can't make people think they're all right. I need somebody to preach hell about me. I need somebody. That's why people feel so funny about our church. They say, they always preaching fire and brimstone in there. But think about how all the week we sin and do stuff that ain't focused on God. I need somebody to bring me in and remember that just in case I stepped out of bind, the Holy Ghost said, Hop! Get that feedback in. Hop! Be kind of talk wrong. Hop! Don't say it. That's my song right there. You know why? Because there's nobody like it.